I would like to start by breaking down the title, right? It is a fairly ambitious title for the talk, but it really guides the way for, you know, all the different aspects of this conversation, right? So uh, let's see, sacred geometry, um, up-leveling with the fundamentals of space-time, right? The thing for me is, is that these are all synonymous terms on some level, right? It all comes down to using the fundamental structure of space-time for the expansion of our consciousness. And the fundamental structure of space-time is sacred geometry. So they're all interwoven, right? Um, my task is to stay linear for you today. I tend to get very tangential because it's all interrelated. But my growth as a result of sacred geometry is helping me to be more embodied, right? Helping me to connect with my own structure, <laughs> my own biology, my own geometry. So I'm going to breathe a lot. And I want to invite you to breathe with me because that's really where like the integration of the information is. It's the application of all, all of the information I'm going to share today is kind of cool. It's interesting, but really it comes back to that expansion piece. It comes back to, you know, connecting with our consciousness and grounding in that. And I want to put in a little caveat that's, you know, part of my uh, passion, part of my excitement comes with drawing sacred geometry, right? So I teach people how to draw, and then there's this little covert uh, maneuver where the geometry is activating our consciousness quietly, right, as we're drawing. It's a meditative practice. I'll talk a little bit more about why. But it's unusual for me to talk just about the information without grounding it in drawing it. So I want to encourage everyone to learn about drawing it. Also, just learn about it. It's so activating and powerful. And uh, it has changed my life, right? I've, I've been uh, working with the geometry for about a dozen years now. I never get tired of it. It's endlessly fascinating completely inspiring and I really you know it it guides me it shows me the way it ends up it, it brings me to talking about the geometry on portal to ascension and meeting the most extraordinary people so uh Neil is one of the more extraordinary people that I know that I think we probably met through the geometry or the hybridization program I think that's where we met on a panel thanks to Alan and uh, I'll talk about that a little bit in, in down the line in that, you know, studying this, uh, these fundamental principles can take you as far as you want to go and then way farther than you thought you could. I'll get to that though. So back to the title, right? We've got, we've got these synonymous words, but I want to break them down too. And Part of the appeal with geometry, part of it, there's so many parts. Part of the appeal is that it's universal, right? There's geometry in everything. There isn't anything that doesn't have geometry. And so that does a bunch of things. Number one is it unifies us, right? This is part of the sacred aspect from my perspective that when you begin to realize that there's a geometric pattern, that we're all geometry and it boils down to mathematics and structure, it begins to break down the illusion of separation, right? You begin to realize the interconnectedness of everything 
there's no um, there's no boundary, and that we can begin to permeate that division that's been programmed in our construct in our matrix, and it helps us with that deeper relationship that then moves us from a paradigm of separation into connection into heart-centered, uh, dare I say, love-based reality. Because I'm getting way ahead of myself here, <laughs> but because everything's connected, when you begin to realize that, it ultimately can change your worldview. It changes your relationship with the outer world, but also within yourself. So it's very, very powerful, all sorts of ways to look at it as sacred, right? I'm, I'm gonna keep talking about these things all throughout. I do have a PowerPoint to anchor some of this information with slides and cool images, but keep in mind that, you know, all of it is information that on some level we're familiar with, right? This, this is part of our subconscious. It's, you know, bringing our awareness into the things that we already know that's, you know, that connect us. And it's about remembering. Right? It's about remembering our parts. It's about connecting our conscious waking mind into our subconscious waking mind, right? This, um, the idea that the geometry can meet you wherever you're at, right? It's this broad spectrum. And that means that if you're familiar with a lot of these concepts, if you're brand new to it, I want to invite you to use the information to see if you can find your next level, right? See if you can find the place where the geometry wants to take you, right? Because it's always, it's an evolutionary process and the geometry can scale infinitely far. Right? It can take you as far as you want to go. So put your seatbelts on, right? Geometry is very expansive, hence the title of leveling, right? So I'll keep coming back to the title. I really, you know, some part of it was an organized thought process, but it's uh, it's quite all encompassing because the geometry is as well. So I invite you to take this to the next level wherever you're at and a very cool thing is, is that whatever kind of discipline you are drawn to, you can always come down. You can boil all of the disciplines down to a geometric structure, to a fundamental structure that is rooted in the patterns of the universe, right? So super cool. So if you're into um, spirituality, I'm on the metaphysical side of the whole spectrum. Uh, I'll get into that in a minute. But spirituality, religion, um, the you know cosmology, astrology, astronomy, uh, mathematics, physics, uh, arts, architecture, molecular biology. I mean, on and on. No matter what, no matter what you're passionate about, you can look into the fundamental structure of it and it's going to enhance your experience right? it's going to enhance the depth of your understanding because it's the intelligence of the universe right so this is this is the deep stuff this is the stuff that mystery schools are made of right and so i gravitate towards that end of things the mystical the metaphysical I was not oriented towards math at all. I was a psychotherapist. I, you know, opened into new worlds for myself. And uh, I will get into my story in a minute because it's all part of the, it's all part of why I love it. But the metaphysical, you know, grounding spiritual practice, I was, that's my bent. That's what I do in life. That's, that's what leads me. And I have come to recognize and appreciate mathematics, right? Like I, I've never been on the mathematics side of things. And I've, I've started to see that math is equivalent to God, 
use whatever words you want to use god source consciousness higher self right that's part of like realizing that there is no separation right that you can go with the right brain uh more spiritual creative um flowing elements to the left brain linear equations mathematics empirical data and the geometry is harmonizing to the point where you know, you're realizing the the left brain and the right brain and that the, the hemispheres are connected right and that the geometry has this proportion that aligns left brain right brain masculine feminine it brings the different aspects of us together that we've been programmed uh, are separate right because the geometry is so perfectly balanced right it's so harmonic that as we as we draw it right but as we sit with it as we meditate with it um tattoo our bodies put the geometry on it we are subconsciously consciously calling ourselves into our alignment we are using a tool of harmony of balance that then opens our channels, right? When we're aligned, we can hear our guidance more clearly. We can connect with source consciousness more clearly. And then we can receive guidance, right? As to what the next steps are, as to the things that um, integrate our being. You know, we start to realize how fragmented we've been, you know, and the structure of the geometry can bring those parts together so much um hang on a this is a great moment to pause and breathe so i invite you to breathe with me and i'm going to shift from this like macro overview of the geometry and bring it a little bit and more into the micro and from the meta into the personal and tell you a little bit about my story and how the geometry applies because oh wow i just want to go everywhere okay is it my story time <laughs> i think there's one there's one other aspect that i want to bring in that i get really excited about which is um, the study of infinity right i've just recently started to get into the concept of our infinite nature right and i just tapped into that because of the macro right and this direct relationship of the larger and the infinitely smaller and how the geometry can scale right we're going to look at fractalizing shapes and it brings all of that meta information into the personal and the individual right so the sacred is that it is so large and all-encompassing and then directly related to the individual journey our cellular structure we are the geometry and we are sacred and that connection is sacred and it's also appealing and so enjoyable and that's what hooked me right that was the appeal is um it felt good I felt good, you know, I, um, I was, a. I mentioned I was a therapist for 10 years. I, this spiritual metaphysical being, I worked on an inpatient psychiatric unit and it was very intense and it was a blessing because I was with people in transitional states and that's an honor. And I consider it an honor because of my spiritual practice. I mean, I've been working on myself for 25 years. So to sit with people in transition, to sit in sort of the void, if you will, to, to appreciate that potential and that discomfort, it helped me appreciate having a structure even more. So so I left from that world, that world of like, oh, here's a paycheck. Here's, you know what you're doing. Here's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and you know where to go. <laughs> and so I just knew, you know, the world of mental health 
was limited. It was, um, it was, it serves a purpose, but it was painful. And uh, I wanted to go towards health and wellness and like an integrated reality. So I completed my tour of duty, right? I, I graduated from that part of my life, did a lot of healing, and then left into uh, the, the void of anxious, infinite potential, right? And I immediately discovered sacred geometry and immediately started working with unified physics, Nassim Haramein, and a lot of his um, unified field theory informs uh, a lot of what we do. And just as a note, this isn't gonna be physicist oriented, right? This is pretty much, as you can tell, the interpersonal. Uh, we're not gonna be talking about like thermodynamics and the holographic mass of the universe. Stay on target. <laughs> so. So uh, I was exposed to all of these really brilliant concepts, but the thing that got me was the geometry. And I started drawing it compulsively. And I didn't know why. I just knew that I felt better, right? And so I moved from this world of being a therapist and having a structure into all of a sudden being an artist and simply needing to be around the geometry. And at the time, like I said, I didn't know that it was creating that sense of alignment. I knew that I was being guided and at the time I didn't know that the geometry was part of what was guiding me. I just, I just did it. I was just drawing, wanted to feel better. Ultimately uh, had an art installment, had many, many pieces of work, started realizing the world of expressing geometry, started learning about it, um, kind of fascinated by it. People wanted to know about it and I wanted to learn and teach. So I started to teach. And I was in Portland, so the community college was so cool. I was teaching how to draw sacred geometry at the colleges. And uh, once you're immersed in the world of geometry, it will uh, suggest that there is more, right? You start learning about, you know, more dimensions than this one. So that geometry study took me to an off-planet, on-planet, off-planet, a study of geometry, which was crop circles. And if we have time at the end, and I want to move along here, so I'm kind of getting lost in my story. Uh, I want to look a little bit at crop circles. Um, Neil and I were actually just in England uh, chasing the crop circles. It's one of my passions. I've been studying that for a long time because of the geometry, right? It's this, it's this universal language, this universal structure. And I believe advanced civilizations are giving us these messages you know, encoded in geometry to help with our evolutionary process, the up level of our consciousness, right? So started with sacred geometry, moved into crop circles. And of course, the question then is who is making the crop circles, started connecting with advanced civilizations, started understanding myself as a multidimensional being, started connecting with myself and my off planet selves that are working and being of service in other galactic star systems, understanding this universal consciousness and that we are one tiny incarnate expression of source consciousness here on the planet to be of service to our ascension, to our transition, right? I have this natural predilection for transitional specialist, right? And so I like to share my story. I like to go a little bit into detail because the geometry will take you as far as you want to go and then further, right? Like I said, I mentioned Neil and uh, Alan on the hybridization program, right? I started learning about my participation in that program and all of the other off-planet realities. And that's what makes sense to me now. This planet is a tricky territory to navigate and it all makes sense if I factor in the origins of the geometry, if I factor in the larger part, part of this reality, the other dimensional realities that are with us, my multidimensionality. Okay, I think that's the story. I do offer it in case you're on your own journey and you're feeling a little out there or crazy, just know that you're extraordinary. You're on a really great path. Keep going. It's going to up level you. It's going to connect you with universal consciousness and expand you into your true potential. And 
the reason that you came here. Thank you.